much for the pastry. It looks delicious. I do mm. hope it's good. Like I said, if it is, I am mm. buying this place. Mm, it's very good. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Love. You know, it reminds me of this little bakery on the island. Mm. I bought that bakery, too. Um, the little baker, he's so cute. He, he, make, oh, he makes these delightful little pastries. Very similar to this. Mm, they're so good. And the, the sun on the island is just oh, so warm. We talked about peace. It's so peaceful there. I don't take the dogs. They stay at the groomers. And they, they're not yappy. It's just so quiet and peaceful there. I just, I love my island. My own private island. And, oh my gosh, I just, I love, I love my island. It brings me such joy. Oh, I get so happy there. Oh. So, mm. you know, I'm so mm. happy we got together today mm. because I can really feel Jesus at work in this conversation because you just used a I can just enjoy eating yeah. this little pastry. Yeah. I, mm. I'm so glad that you're feeling joy. Yes. And that that pastry very happy. makes you happy, and that your island yes. makes you happy, and the sun. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll invite you to my own. Well, no, because you don't have a plane to get there. Uh, well, I'm. It's. I just think it's amazing that you use the word joy, because I want to talk to you. But I can I tell you that joy doesn't mean exactly that. That joy, those things make you happy. Well, yeah, it makes you joyful. Well, joy is something different. Joy is something different. It makes you smile and giggle. It, it does that. But joy doesn't come from the stuff that you have. Joy I is... I have a, everything I need uh, I and everything I want. And I if know. I don't have it, I go buy it. But did you know that people who have nothing still are filled with joy? They can't be. They don't have money. They, they are. I want to tell you a little bit more about the Advent story. Because there were some other people that I think are really interesting to this whole story that we tell. Advent means preparing. Preparing. For that messy little baby. I don't For the it. birth of Jesus that is the greatest gift ever. And we know that Jesus, that the prophets told us that Jesus was going to come. And live and die for us so we could have hope. We could hope. find peace. Messy baby. We could find peace. And a baby. And we learned that Joseph and Mary, Jesus' mom and dad here on earth, were, were filled with peace even though they shouldn't have been. Wow. And now you just use the word joy. And I want to tell you a story about some people from the story of the birth of Jesus. Shepherds. Do you know what shepherds take care of? Oh, Stinky sheep. Well, they are. They they oh. they might have been. They did work out in the field and take care of sheep and goats. They might have been a little bit stinky. Yeah. But I oh. want to go back to the Bible and I want to read from the book of Luke in okay. the New Testament, from chapter two, and I think I'll do maybe verses eight to like fifteen. You ready? And this is about some shepherds that were out in the field taking care of sheep, like oh. a hard job. They didn't have much. They slept in the fields with the sheep. Oh. That, but listen to this. I hired people to dock my dogs. Well, I want you to listen to this and see if it changes your heart just a little bit. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was nighttime, and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Yeah. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a simple manger. Suddenly a large group of angels from heaven also appeared and they were praising God and they said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven. And may peace be given, there's that word, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So instead of being afraid, they were filled with joy because they had just been told that Jesus was born. 
Joy comes from the inside. We can feel joy just because we know Jesus loves, was born. Jesus loved us. He lived for us. He died for us. So joy isn't, those shepherds didn't have anything but a stick to poke their sheep to move them around and a blanket, maybe a blanket, and they slept in a field. Somebody had to bring them food probably once a day and they were probably, they probably smelled like sheep. But angels wanted them to be one of the first, some of the first people to see the baby Jesus. So they weren't afraid. They were filled with joy, even though they had nothing. Why would angels, if, if this Jesus baby is so important, Yes. why would angels go to stinky shepherds? Because remember when I told you a little bit earlier that Jesus came for all of us. Yeah, well, at least go to the nobles, well, rich people. No, he was born, actually, actually, Jesus, well, there's a lot more we can learn. If you decide you want to learn more, they we, and, and you know what? I, I feel like I should finish the story because Jesus wasn't just born for rich people. Jesus was born for everyone. And there's like one really important word that I still want to share with you and teach you about. So before you go, I think this might make you feel that not only joy, but something else in your heart. So let's finish our pastry, and then can I, can I tell you the rest of the story? I do have a couple more minutes, okay. and then right. I have a very important meeting I need to get okay. to, but I have a couple more minutes. That's all. Jesus, Jesus doesn't need much time to fill your heart with joy. He just, need, just needs an, a moment for you to let him in. So let's, um, I'm going to take a little restroom break, and then if you, if you don't mind, while you finish your pastry, finish my joyful pastry, and then I'll tell you more of the greatest story ever told. Okay.